You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad app reviews. Well, this week we have an awesome app. It's called Photo Ninja. And Photo Ninja is, uh, sets itself apart because it's not one of those apps that we see over and over, which is bring in an image, do some corrections, and share it with friends. We've seen a million of those. So this one actually stands out because it is unabashedly about making pictures look sort of wacky so you can make fun of your friends and family and post that on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. So uh, we loaded up some images and we played with them in Photo Ninja and sure enough, it made us laugh. And so let's take a closer look at Photo Ninja. Okay, let's take a closer look at Photo Ninja, but before we do, listen closely at how this app starts. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, Photo Ninja, and that sort of sets the tone for what this app does. It's just sort of funny. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the options. When I click this little options icon here, you can see I can turn on sharing for Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. I can turn sound effects on and off. We have this little ninja dude making all kinds of clicking sounds. It's funny. But after a while, it gets to be a little bit too much. So I've turned that off. We've got some tips that we can turn on and off. I'm gonna leave those off because I'm gonna be telling you what you can do here. And then also we have some links for more info about the application developers and how to use the app and the website. And so you get some pure awesome by clicking there and you can send emails with tips and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna just click done here and we'll dive right into Photo Ninja and you can see how fun it is. So the first thing I wanna do is click this little folder icon here and we've taken a bunch of pictures that we're gonna use. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to load in a photo of our photo editor, or our digital editor here. And uh, he is Michael Ham. <laughs> we made him look sort of crazy. But I'm gonna go down here and there's three icons. There's a wig, a magic wand, and a text button. So I'm gonna click the wig and then we can go down here. We can use hats, headgear, hair and stashes, glasses and eye patches, bling and things, word balloons and sound effects. So I'll go into head, uh, hats and headgear. And what we'll do is we're gonna get this crazy little uh, hat here and we'll stick that onto Michael and that will be really funny. So there you go. Now he's got a crazy hat. Then we'll go in here. We're gonna add something else. Maybe we'll do a mustache or something so here's hair and stashes. So we're gonna put a crazy mustache on him. And so here it is, here's his crazy mustache. Now I'm doing this just by pinching and zooming and positioning this with a single finger. I can twist these around. So it's really simple just to sort of add things here. And uh, then what I'll do is the last thing here, I'll add a word balloon. And so we'll have him thinking something here. So we'll have this up here and then I can go here and click this and edit the text and I can say this whoops this is crazy and just like that I've got my little text and you can see how crazy it is to make funny pictures and I can say done and then I can say yes in that and there's my um, crazy picture of Michael I can click this here, I can save it to my photo album, email it, send it to Facebook and other places like Tumblr, which we just showed you. Or I can hit this little door here and this will uh, end this session. So I'm gonna end that. Okay, let's try one more thing. I'll click this uh, icon right here for the folder and we're gonna load in Stunt Pig. And so here's Stunt Pig here. We don't make them a little bit moodier, so I'll click on the wigs here. We're gonna go down here to bling and things. And then we have these funny eyes. So. We'll stick those on Stunt Pig. I'll just bring them in really, really small. And there we have very moody Stunt Pig. Leave Brittany alone. Okay, here we have that. And then maybe we'll add uh, one more thing, maybe a funny hat. And so I think maybe um, this beret would look really funny on him. So there we go, we have the crazy Stunt Pig. Um, then let's take a look at what this magic wand does. So I'll click the magic wand. And once I have that, you can see that there are all these different things in here. And I'm pretty sure that these are not licensed, but who knows. Um, so you can put your uh, picture inside of another picture. Now we've tried this several times, and most of the time it crashes when I try to do this. But we're gonna try putting Stunt Pig on the sidewalk here. So I'll choose that. And it goes through here and does some stuff. It's asking me how I wanna crop this. I'll crop it like that, push that. It's gonna say, wait about 40 seconds. Uh, 
And there you have it. Stunt Pig is on the ground. And you can see here's our picture of Stunt Pig, and Stunt Pig is there. Works pretty good. I think the difference between when it works and when it doesn't is the size of the file. So this is a file that we shot using the built-in uh, camera on the iPad. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to redo this. And instead of putting him on the ground, let's put Stunt Pig in the hands of Justin Bieber. So here we go. We'll have Stunt Pig just like that. I'll accept that. Again, it'll take a few seconds. And there it is, Stunt Pig with Mr. Justin Bieber. Okay, we'll save that. There you go. And there you have it. So we can do all kinds of things. I could add text. I can do whatever I want. But you can see just how much fun Photo Ninja is. Well, you can see that Photo Ninja is just tons of fun. So I hope you download it and have a lot, as much fun with it as we did. Well, if you have an app that you've seen for the iPad that is awesome, please let me know about it. Just send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. And if you'd like to see some of our past reviews of awesome iPad apps, head on over to the Adorama Learning Center where you'll see all of those videos. Well, thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.